Okay, here I'm going to go over the correct cordial chemical interactions. Sorry, I couldn't come up with, with another hard C here. But this is uh, relating to chemical uh, safety uh, for you in general. So step one, protect yourself. Personal protection is important. Most of the time, goggles are required, but depending on what you're working with, gloves may also be needed. Lab coats are advised for those working continually uh, within the lab to limit exposure to chemicals. Again, it can be when we're dealing with serious cases, you can see here we have the PPE, personal protection equipment, completely sealed. Uh, sometimes you'll see uh, scientists using just lab coats. Uh, sometimes gloves are required, depending on what you're working with. They don't seem too happy in general, uh, but depending, again, what you're working with will dictate what you need to wear, and those would be uh, covered with you in the lab. Uh, so no thy chemical on the hazmat diamond can be uh, advantageous. It's intended to provide a quick universal labeling of materials. Now you may see this on uh, other places as you're traveling around, this kind of diamond shaped. Uh, key take home message, well, I may not have to know all the details of it, uh, these four colorations. Four, if you see any fours, that's reason for concern because of a health hazard would be deadly. Uh, flash points would be very low and reactivity or reactivity would be uh, very high here. So we're looking at, again, different uh, ways that we can easily look at any chemical and have a general idea of what might be in there. Uh, areas that have natural gas also have this because it's a uh, potential uh, explosive and it is hazardous. The white area may have nothing in it or it may have these various uh, markers to help identify what might be in there. Uh, so again, just a quick reference point, universally accepted and gives you just a good idea of what's, what's in that um, particular uh, storage area. Now, the chemical, the SDS, or the safety sheet, uh, safety data sheet, I should say, these can be found for any chemical substance, including everyday items. So uh, you can look up just about anything uh, on the internet, uh, look for SDS sheets, and you're able to find uh, what the first aid recommend for it, uh, firefighting, accidental release, the handling and the storage of that uh, for just about any product that you do buy. Label containers that you use, so this applies to being in lab. When you're using chemicals in the lab, be sure to label containers to avoid confusion. Uh, just simple marker, you could put a piece of tape and label it. Uh, you want to be clear whether it's poisonous or concerning or if it's food items. So just having an idea because clear liquids look like water and a lot of people assume it's water. It could be a whole host of things or what could be dissolved in that water could clearly make it fall into one category or another. So it's important to label that to avoid confusion and also to uh, avoid mistakes made in the lab for you and the rounds around you. Know the proper method of disposal. So for each chemical and resulting mixtures, know how to properly dispose of it. Uh, it could be solid waste, could be organic solvents. All of these will be uh, clearly stated at the beginning of lab. Uh, I stress here the chemical and also the resulting mixtures. Sometimes you can have two benign chemicals, chemicals that you know are pretty much unreactive. When you mix them, that can create a substance that needs to be disposed of in a proper manner. In the other way, you can have two sometimes more dangerous chemicals and mix them together and develop um, a substance that is not as harmful. So just know how to dispose of it uh, so you're able to put that in the right area and you're not causing potential contamination of not only the experiment, uh, but groundwater or uh, the sewer system. When in doubt, lastly, when in doubt, just ask, raise your hand, ask a question, uh, look it up, ask the teacher. Um, so always good to, when you're in doubt, um, just ask the question and be able to direct you in the right way uh, to avoid any potential mix-up or hazards to you or those around you.